All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Prophet John here. Hope you guys are doing well. It is 8 a.m. in the morning. It's Monday, May. I uh, know March. Okay, uh, I'm trying to skip. I'm trying to skip March and April and <laughs> get right to May. Um, but it's uh, March 1st, uh, 2021. All right, so we're in March. No longer in February. January and February are done. We are now in March. This is when I believe things start to get exciting. Um, and uh, yeah, we got a lot of things on on the table, okay, including the XRP uh, SEC trial, and we have uh, you know Trump making um, you know basically coming back that yesterday, you know, in January I told you guys we Trump will return in March. Well, you know. He returned the last day of February, so I guess you can say it was March, okay? <laughs> so, you know, um, and so Trump returns and uh, makes a long speech. Um, and he talks about things that, you know, he wants to do and what America should do and things like that. And the whole time he's making the speech, you know, I, I post in the Telegram group, why didn't he... Why didn't they do these things while he was in power? I don't understand, you know? Um, a lot of the things that he talked about, he could have got done while he was in power. Remember, at, for two years, the, the Republicans owned the Senate, the House, the Supreme Court, and the presidency. Think about that. and. They didn't implement any of these things that Trump was talking about last night. That's very odd, right? And and so I was just every time when Trump was talking about we should we need to do this, we need to make the elections this. There's so much election fraud. We need to make elections on elections should only be in, on one day. The elections need to be on maybe on a blockchain or whatever he was saying, or and and all these other things that he was saying, and I'm like. Man, you had you had all of the all of the uh, you had all of the courts, you know, you had everything for those two years, and it's like it's like they went to sleep or something, um, because that's when I would have been passing everything to make sure American future is locked and re and, 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 st and and stable and ready to go. I would have made sure that the elections was only one day. I would have made sure that the elections were no longer through machines and, and fraud machines, but on a blockchain technology, using blockchain to see votes in real time. I would have made sure of that when I got for those two years, right? I would have implemented everything that I wanted, just like Biden's doing right now as he as the Democrats own the House and and the Senate. And they don't own the Supreme Court, but they own that. They but they basically control the Supreme Court through manipulation and and, and fraud. But the Democrats are going to do whatever they want right now, and that's what Biden's doing. Why didn't Trump and the Republicans do that? that that's what I was. That was going through my mind um, as Trump was giving his speech uh, yesterday. I'm like man. All these things that you wanted to implement, you could have done that while you were in presidency. So it's it's weird. It's like it's like they it's like they're playing a game. It's like it's like like and that's what it is. It is that it is a game. We all know that we're 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 in the matrix. And you have to get yourself out of the matrix, right? And so you know, many people are in this matrix and they believe that it's real and it's not. It's a game. It's coded. It's scripted. It's a game that these people are playing. And you got to realize that if you don't realize that you're going to be stuck in the matrix and those stuck in the matrix cannot be successful because that's what the matrix is. It's to keep you on, you know, pretending and dreaming that you're going to be successful one day and then you're old and die. Those who break out from the matrix are the ones that have become multimillionaires, billionaires and, and become successful. Right. The ones people in the matrix are always stuck in the matrix. They're stuck on political parties. They're stuck on political people. They worship uh, musicians and actors. Uh, you know, they 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 go and they they work um, fifty sixty hours a day a week. Uh, you know, uh, making fifteen dollars an hour, twenty dollars an hour, and it's never enough. Every time they save up, you know, uh, three four thousand dollars, an emergency happens and they have to use that money. I was there. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was there and I was like, wait a minute, man, something's not right. Every time I save money up, there's a big emergency that happens that wipes my whole freaking savings account up. That's, be that's because I was stuck in the matrix. And that's what it does. That's what the matrix is. When you spend, so I had to get myself, I had to reprogram my mind and get myself out of the matrix. Okay. So, uh, and I think, and so that's what we're, that's what's going on right now. Many millions and billions and billions of people are stuck in the matrix. This is why they're, they can't, this is why they're having a hard time being successful. They're having a hard time saving money. They're having a hard time doing anything. Okay. And, uh, and also they believe everything. That's another thing about being stuck in the matrix. You believe everything, right? You believe everything the media says. You believe everything politicians say. You believe everything, man. And, and literally 90% of the stuff that you believe is a, is a complete lie. But you don't know that because you're stuck in the matrix, right? And it's the same way with me. I believed everything the media said when I was stuck in the matrix. I don't, now that I'm out of the matrix, I believe literally nothing the media says. <laughs> Can you believe that? The same, I'm the same guy, but I'm, I'm no longer in the matrix. So I don't believe, so now I was 99% believing everything the media says while I was in the matrix. Now that I'm outside of the matrix and I reprogram myself, I, I don't believe anything the media says. <laughs> okay. So that's, that's, that's. It's amazing what happens to your mindset and, and, and who you become when you get out of the matrix. Okay. So it's a, it's a, it's a very, very wonderful, beautiful thing to be outside of the matrix, you know, and, but it's very hard because literally everybody, you know, is still inside the matrix and you know, that comes with a lot of hatred that comes with some jealousy that comes with um you know people not wanting to believe anything you say right until they see it for themselves uh, i've had a lot of that um you know and people wondering why um you know good things are happening for me but not happening for them and they just keep wondering and wondering and wondering and they don't realize that they're stuck in the matrix right and even if they do realize it they don't think that there's a way out of the matrix. And that's really sad as well. Because at one point, that's what I thought as well. I thought this, there's no way out of the matrix. I'm going to die working, working 50, 60 hours a day, and it's never going to be enough. And um, that's, that, that could be my legacy until I, until I realize, no, nah, it's time to change. I, I'm willing to die for this change. <laughs> I'm really when you're willing to die for that for for a change uh, to change your life and legacy, you will you will quit everything and start from scratch. And that's exactly what I did. Right. I quit my government contracting job. I knew it was going to be tough because God told me it was going to be it was going to be really tough for me for for years. But he would he would uh, build me up and make and then he, I would go from there and I would excel from there. And that's exactly what happened, you know. And so, but are people willing to do that? No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not, right? They're not really willing to suffer for two, three years of literally living on nothing and not being able to even feed yourself. You know what I mean? Because I, I, I couldn't barely buy anything. You know, I had no money, you know, so for at least two, three years. So, you know what I mean? So you got to... That's what you got to do, though, to get yourself out of the matrix and reprogram yourself and allow God to lead you right into an into, into a new mindset. You got to go back into the wilderness. Right. And so it's gonna, that's what it takes. But people don't want to do that. So it is what it is. I, you know, I'm not you know, it is what it is. So that's what, you know, people are different. That's why that's why I say legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Right. So because. To, to be to get out of the matrix, you have to become a legend <laughs> because nobody else is going to do it. You have to do it for your friends and your family members and, and your generation and your bloodline. You have to be that change. OK, you have to be that change. So they're not going to know until the reset happens, folks. They're not going to really know what type of change 
took place until the reset happens. When the reset happens of currencies and the dollar um, demise takes place, and because it's taking place right now, it's happening right in front of people's eyes, but they're stuck in the matrix. They they don't know. But when it when it when when it when it's seen to the to the world, that's when they're gonna know that what you did was legendary. That's why that's why I keep saying legends never die; they stay in our hearts. I'm preparing my friends and family members and the people I know to say, "Wait a minute, what currency? What currency did for us?" Now I know, I know what he did for us now, right? But you're not going to know until the events happen. When the events happen, and it's going to be devastating to the world. When these when these events happen with the with the uh, credit freeze and the uh, currency crisis and the and the uh, and the market crashes and all these things take place over these next year or two, these next. To a 24 hour, 24 months. When these events happen, people are gonna realize that you that what you did was legendary. <laughs> so that's why I say legends never die, they stay in our hearts. Because they're gonna realize what you did was legendary. But it's not they're not gonna know that until the events fully happen. Okay. So, anyways, let's get into prayer. I think we uh covered, I think that was awesome. God is good. Uh, God has changed, uh, you know, our mindsets, our lives, and he has prepared us to be legends when the, when the events take place. Because people are going to have no hope, and we're going to be the ones that prepared. We're the ones that came out of the matrix to prepare for future events, and we're going to be there to help our friends and family members and loved ones out. We're going to be the, the multi-billionaires because of these events and we're going to be able to help our peoples out okay so let's get into prayer heavenly father we thank you we thank you so much for all that you have done for us we thank you for guiding us protecting us and healing us we thank you for cho choose choosing us you know we thank you for choosing us for these events that are coming we thank you for stepping ourselves out of the matrix and prepare for the things that are coming making our making ourselves our own central bankers with, with silver and gold and and uh, cryptocurrencies and precious metals and and the and the reset currencies and every other every other thing that you want us to have uh leading up to these events that are going to be global that are going to change the world and change the outlook of the world we thank you father that we're, we're going to be a, we're going to be the new elites we're going to be the elites now some of us are already elites, but we're gonna or we're all that are outside of the matrix are gonna be the new elites. And we thank you, Father. We thank you that we're gonna be able to be the ones that help the sick, the poor, the lonely, the hungry, our families, our friends, and we're gonna be able to leave a, a legendary legacy behind. We thank you, Father. We thank you because legends never die, they stay in our hearts. And you're preparing us for those that moment. And we thank you, Father. We give you grace. We give you glory. We give you honor. We were we ask for repentance of our sins. We repent for every sin that we have committed and done. Wash us clean from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet. In Yeshua's mighty name, cancel every demonic dream and vision that we had and other people had of us. Send it back to the sender and the hellfire and the spiritual realm where it comes from. Never let, allow any demonic dream to come to pass in our lives. We seal every demonic dream with the blood of Yeshua and the power of Ruach of Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you for your joy. We thank you for your peace, your holiness. We thank you for sending the angels before us today and the rest of this week to guide us. We thank you for the favor that you're going to give over to us in every decision that we make this week. We thank you for all the wealth that you're going to be pouring upon us this week as we trade and as we um, invest and as we uh, do the things that we do in our businesses in our sales and businesses and all the things that we do. We thank you for giving us that favor, giving us that promotion in Yeshua's name. 
Father, we thank you for breaking the poverty spirits off us. We thank you for breaking the vagabond spirits off us. We thank you for the abundant life. We thank you for uh, the favor that you're giving us. We thank you for breaking the fornication spirits off us. We thank you for the wisdom that you give us, the wisdom of Solomon. We thank you for breaking the lying spirits off us. We thank you for success. We thank you for breaking the abominations off us. We thank you for love. We thank you for breaking delays off us. We thank you for holy holiness. We thank you for healing us from every sickness and disease from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet. We thank you for uh, canceling and terminating every demonic dream. We thank you for God, our godly spouses. We thank you for sending us our godly spouses in Yeshua's mighty name. We thank you for greatness. We thank you for fulfilling our destiny. We thank you for uh, breaking the greed and gambling spirit. We thank you for fruitfulness. We thank you for breaking the lust and perversion spirits off of us. We thank you for um, positive mindsets and positive attitudes. We thank you for breaking the fear. We thank you for Holy Spirit boldness. We thank you for patience. We thank you for forgiveness. We thank you for um, breaking the depression spirits off us. We thank you for faith. We thank you for peace of mind. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for uh, hair growth. Thank you for growing our hair. Thank you for growing our beards for us men. We thank you for uh, renewing us, reviving us, restoring us, resetting us. We thank you for a debt-free life. We thank you for a wealth transfer, allowing us to decree and declare our wealth transfer, receiving our wealth transfer, and claiming our wealth transfer now in Yeshua's mighty name. We thank you for the youthfulness in Yeshua's mighty name. We thank you for um, cheerfulness. We thank you for calmness. We thank you for breaking the darkness and, and restlessness. We thank you for allowing us to give cheerfully. And Heavenly Father, everything we give, shall we come back to us a billion fold in Yeshua's mighty name. We thank you for encouragement. We thank you for breaking the addictions, loneliness, and sadness. We thank you for the joy and the peace. We thank you for self, uh, breaking the selfishness, breaking the stagnation, breaking the abuse, and breaking the disappointments off of our lives. We thank you for expediting love, peace, happiness, joy, joy, um, healing, holiness, expediting these things now in Yeshua's name. Thank you, Father. Thank you for breaking the panic attacks. Thank you for breaking the crisis. Thank you for positive feelings. Thank you for suddenly blessed, suddenly healed, suddenly great, suddenly favored, suddenly wise, suddenly fruitful. We thank you for promoting us in every aspect of our lives. Uh, thank you for um, for breaking the hatred and, and the hunger and the anger. We thank you for um, a balanced life. We thank you for breaking the negative influence and thank you for the positive influences. Thank you for breaking the failures in our lives. Thank you for breaking the cursing in our lives. Thank you for um, breaking the doubt as well in Yeshua's name. We thank you for respect. We thank you for um, holy friends and holy family members. We thank you for breakthroughs. We thank you for uh, wealth in every aspect of our lives. We thank you for breaking the anxiety, breaking the witchcraft off of us, breaking the um, generational witchcraft off of us, breaking the generational curses off of us, and breaking the curses off of us now in Yeshua's mind. Thank you for breaking those things off of us and setting us free. Thank you for breaking every chain off of us now in Yeshua's mighty name. We thank you for perpetual blessings, breakthroughs, healing, love, peace, happiness, joy, greatness, fruitfulness, wealth, wealth transfer, healing. Thank you for the favor. We make everything perpetual forevermore in Yeshua's mind. Every blessing, every abundance, everything that we have that is of you, Father, make it perpetually forevermore. Let it continue to just overflow and overflow and overflow in our lives. In Yeshua's name we pray. Shalom, shalom, shalom. All right, guys and girls. Have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And come out of the matrix. If you're still in the matrix, come out of the matrix and become a legend. Become that legend for your family and friends. Because those that are outside of the matrix will be legendary when all the events take place. Because we are prepared. We are prepared. We are prepared, not just with the things that God has told us to prepare for, but we are prepared mentally. And that's the key. The key is to get that mindset out of the matrix so that you never go back into the matrix. Peace out. God bless. Eyes open.